We're here almost a year to the day uh, before the reopening of uh, Longchamp. Uh, you must be delighted with the way things have gone so far. Yes, I mean it's a, it's an amazing challenge, but so far it's uh, it's uh, going well. Uh, we're not late. Uh, the structure and the main building is there now. The the devil is in the details. And looking at the stabling and the uh, the parade ring, um, visitors to the new Longchamp will still recognise much of, although the 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 details will be very different. The, the general geography of, of Longchamp won't be changing. People will still find it recognisably Longchamp. I think so. I mean, we kept the parade ring exactly as it was. Maybe it's a little bit longer, but I mean, uh, it's for sure not a different size. And uh, we want to keep the flavour, you know, to combine tradition and modernity at the same time. And uh, I think I'm right in saying that the uh, idea is to make it a very technologically advanced race course to have everything connected for the, your new customers yes i think if you if you open a, a new a new stand if you reopen Longchamp in 2018 it has to be very technological up to date and one final thought when uh, we have the reopening on the 8th of april in 2018 how proud will you be of the work that france gallo and Bouygues and uh, all the other actors have put into this, this huge project. I will tell you on the 9th of April 2018. <laughs> but I think, I f in general, it's an amazing challenge and we're, we want to win the challenge and make it very constructive, very positive and, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity.